Hello, I am Dr. Anand Guru. Uh, my topic for today's discussion is understanding quality and quality characteristics. Actually, uh, there are different ways in which we can define this term quality as it is very a relative term. Say one dictionary may define this as a degree of conformance to standards. Dr. Taguchi defines as a loss to society. Dr. Deming has defined for business as it's a customer retention. Dr. Juran has defined quality either it's for process or product, it's a fitness for use. Juran has defined in other way it could be free from deficiencies. So one can understand here that quality can be defined with their own understanding. Perceptions could be different. Right? Now this particular diagram will help you to understand quality has got different aspects. Quality can be defined as a quality assurance, can be for quality improvements. We can understand quality using different its characteristics, attributes. Right? It could be quality assurance for making consistency, maybe setting standards, understanding the requirements as far as improvements are concerned through feedbacks, redesigning the process, the objective is to set the objective and goals as far as quality for understanding the quality by using uh, different attributes either for product or services, it could be for process or system. Right. So, uh, quality can be defined in different ways. Now, as we are discussing about the quality characteristics, functionality, reliability, etc., these all are major main types of quality characteristics with the help of which we can define a quality of either for process or for product. So, every this quality characteristic has got their uh, different sub characteristics, like functionality can be defined in terms of suitability accuracy, operability, security, etc. You can define quality for product in terms of reliability by maturity period, fault tolerances, acceptability, compliance. Likewise, usability, efficiency, maintainability, profitability, these are the different ways of defining quality that we define as quality characteristics. If you apply that concept for different areas, for automotive, it could be the quality characteristics could be, it should be defect free. Is, as far as communication environment is concerned or process concerned, the communication process quality characteristics could be it should be very clear, faster and cheaper. In healthcare, quality characteristics could be correct and fast diagnosis. It could be in the field of airlines, it could be on time, low cost service, comfortable and safe journey. As far as military operations are concerned, Operation quality can be defined in terms of rapid deployment and no grip. So, full services, good product, faster delivery, good packing, etc. So, there are different areas in which, if you look at uh, different ways in which we can define um, the quality for the product or process. Take an example of automotive car can be defined, quality for car can be defined in terms of either its safety, fuel economy, reliability, maybe display of. Uh, control of ride, maybe, mm, maybe front seat, room, leg room, etc. So, different ways in which we can define a car, quality for car. Now, if you take the same example, it is automotive, automobile. So, this quality characteristics has got different dimensions. Now, these are the different dimensions for automobile. Performance can be one dimension. We can evaluate performance in terms of fit and finish, the ride, the grade of metal used. As far as aesthetic is concerned, for a customer, the quality dimension could be interior design. With special feature if you consider the placement of gauges and controls for the either passenger or driver. Reliability, frequency of breakdown should be less. That is basic requirement. Durability, useful period of time. So perceived quality it could be top rated car. It's an implied kind of a need can be considered as a dimension for defining the quality. So, if the same automobile, if it is considered for its service and repair, the dimension changes. Definition of dimension changes. Performance, all the work can be done at a great price. Aesthetics, aesthetic could be with the possibility that the person can offer service and give the offer a clean work. So, reliability, durability, perceived quality, 
service after sales these are different dimensions for automobile and service and different so american quality for uh, society for quality control it surveyed the different customer satisfactions so there are basic two categories in which we can define it could be before sales it could be for after sales we can define quality before sales the customer may expect the performance as one of the important quality characteristics with the help of which they can uh, expect service or the product performance so it should be fitness for use availability reliability maintainability the features <coughs> they are expecting uh, from the product they will, they are using to psychological aspects time oriented contractual warranty is again another aspect reputation the trust and brand for which brand for which uh, the customer go for always price the correct pricing or higher value as far as after sales if you see the customer satisfaction which is one of the very important quality characteristics on time delivery instructions on setup if the customer manual is available they call the customer is satisfied they call that is one of the very important aspect of um, quality characteristics the trained technicians to offer a service friendly service represented these are the different aspects after sense right? so uh, these are different examples now uh, if we talk about the characteristics we must understand to whom we are uh, offering these services or offering the features of product to the customer and again on broad basis the customers can be categorized as internal customers and external customers so external customer the person who is out of your business area who is actually uh, purchase your service or your product and uh, uh, using your product it could be soft or hard so he is called as customer as an external customer as far as internal customer there is a sequence of operations in which the product is manufactured so the the next operation becomes the customer station for earlier operation so likewise the broad categories of customers can also be different so why i'm explaining it here because uh, the customer requirements are different accordingly the characteristics can be identified which are generally measurable and with respect to those uh, characteristics we can define quality for either for that process under consideration or product under consideration right so these are some of the examples so lawyers and service engineers clients or customers for computer service providers subscribers or customers for doctors patients or customers so likewise uh, in the field of entertainment audience are the customer in case of a transportation industry passengers or customers so likewise uh, as per area of applications or the term the definitions are different so these are different examples of elements of quality the quality of design quality of conformance quality availability quality of service right now once we understood uh, different ways in which we can define quality if we if it, as as a manufacturer or as a uh, as a person working in a company offering services or product at soft or hard level if we offer a product with uh, poor quality it will ultimately lead in terms of loss of business liability increase could be a reduction in the productivity it could be increasing the cost on the other hand if we offer a good quality as per requirement of the customer it will definitely result into increase in the customer satisfaction if we look at from the customer perspective it could be increasing the mar <coughs> market it could be uh, competent enough uh, uh, features been added to your product so it could meet the competition if you look at from the person working in industry the result of good quality is nothing but reduction errors product development time has been reduced reduction in the rework reduction in the waste reduction in the failures in the field reduction in warranty claims in terms reduction in the warranty charges reduction in the customer dissatisfaction as you are reducing inspection uh, cycles also so these are the different ways in which you could actually see the result of good quality but you can understand 
when we can define it when we can feel that uh, quality uh, that we are getting as a customer is good once we understand its characteristics so from this discussion at least we can understand here uh, the definition of quality and the characteristics which we can make use for explaining the or defining the quality right? once we understood that let us also uh, move further for uh, triggering the thought process what do you mean by quality control actually once we understood or we could identify characteristics with the help of which we can define quality of product or process we can try to identify what are the different uh, parameters which will going to control that particular quality so the next phase to understand next step to understand is how to control that so we can offer the right quality at right time to customer so quality control is all about evaluate actual performance for which you you must understand and define what do you mean by performance so first is step is to understand the performance for which you need to define quality characteristics then you can evaluate the performance they compare actual performance with and then act on differences for improvement now the concept of uh, now the concept of uh, quality control we will discuss in the next lecture thank you